Previously on Burke Place Baldur Gate 3, we defeated the last remaining goblins inside the ruins. Then we backtracked our way to the Underdark. When we got there, we ended up fighting a Minotaur. After realizing that the monster scares are too much, I came back to the surface and interrupted someone's good time. Speak up. The dog's hackles raise. You see a name etched into the leather. Scratch. It's all right, Scratch. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on, Scratch, follow me. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side. is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Thank you. Strange experience. Each time anew, I curl. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. Gail, what's happening? The magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle, the fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. 
A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Light on my feet. I have something to ask. One horn. The stink of Avernus. Advocatus Diaboli. <sighs> well, I'll be God's damned. The Blade of Frontiers. Thought I'd shaken you for good. That'll teach me to underestimate you. You're the devil. We've been hunting Karlek, right? Bloody right. An honor to be chased by the Blade of Frontiers. But I... Ugh! A great heat roars through you. Her heat, fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. What was that? Evidence. Proof that you're a devil. A gladiator in the Archdevil Zariel's army. I can explain, but it's a whole situation. If you just hear me out... Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils. Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Her rage and desperation seep into you. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. She's trying to trick us. Don't believe her lies. You saw the truth. I never wanted to serve Zariel. I was enlisted in her army against my will. Forced to fight, and fight I did. When I saw an opportunity to get away, I took it. I'm finally home. Or near it, anyway. You served her. That's enough to damn you. Stand down, Will. You saw what I saw. Will catches his breath and his lips straighten. Sheer dread twists his face. You don't know what you're saying. You're asking me to trust a devil. Gods, you're stubborn. Karlak is not a devil and you know it. Listen to sense now. I don't want this to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. <laughs> you would have died in the attempt. But there have been enough threats today. Truce then, eh? Aye. Truce. I'm Karlak. But you already knew that. And you are... I'm Mr. Perp. Well met, soldier. Nice to meet a friendly around here. It's been tough going so far. I may not be a devil, but I can put the Blade's reputation to work. How would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Little background if your moral compass needs something to point at. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good. Really good. It turns out I've got a knack for killing demons. That made me a valuable asset. Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me as her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. But devils don't like to lose their assets. <laughs> Zariel liked it so little. She sent a bunch of goons, so-called paladins of tear, to take me back. Problem is, I'm not going. Let's send them back where they came from. Fuck yes! They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Then we can work on evicting this parasite and take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? She's, uh... Perhaps a little rough around the edges. But I suppose I can be smooth enough for two. Sounds like a great plan. I'd hug you if it wouldn't scorch your skin off. Uh, hang on, though. Looks like you've got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. I'll catch up with you when it's time to camp for now. 
but don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? You've been witness to a pantomime, I'm sorry to say. And I've played my part all too poorly. Someone set you on Carlac's tail. I'd like to know who this source of yours is. I can say only this. Carlac's not the only one who's had a villain's knife held to their throats. What's that supposed to mean? The truth will out before you know it. One night soon when we make camp, the veil will be lifted, and I'll pay my penance. Good. Then I deserve answers. And you'll have them, but I can't promise you'll like them. The gods are watching me. After a long day of exploring, I finally decided to go back to camp and rest for the first time. has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. You were sorting something before. What were you doing? Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Will those hirelings be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Impressive. Are there other ways you can help me? Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will Leave soul to body once more. That's incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? A matter of coin. What if I don't have that kind of coin right now? Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. That's outrageous. Such is life outrage leading to a singular end a devil and devil hunter standing shoulder to shoulder against a common enemy rather poetic i think Hello. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flayers, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flayers? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. I fought one of them. Here? On the Sword Coast? Impossible! Not only have I encountered a mind flare, I've killed one. That... that can't be. I was captured by a mind flare before. I'm lucky to be alive. 
You're mad! But tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? I have, and the mind flare infected me with a parasite. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Ceramorphosis? Tell me more. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flare. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flare by now. You? Infected by a mind flare? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! I want rid of this thing by any means necessary. If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Well met. I'd like you to wait in camp for now. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Remain here. I'll come for you if I need you. And just when things were warming up. You know, I've been thinking, and I think there's something I should tell you. Nothing big or terrible. Just a small little detail about me that <laughs> hasn't come up naturally. <laughs> it's just that I happen to be a... Uh, what's the best way to put this? A vampire. <laughs> but you've been walking in the sun this whole time. And by rights, I should be cinders, blowing in the wind. <laughs> but something's protecting me. The same something that's kept us from turning into mind flayers, no doubt. <sighs> but that's neither here nor there. What matters is everything's out in the open now. Because we trust each other. We are a team. We need each other. <laughs> exactly. I knew I could rely on you. Just like you can rely on me. Now, was there anything else? What do you think is waiting for us in Moonrise Tower? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. Carlac and Will seem to have put their differences aside. I thought it was going to come to blows for a moment. Why are we slowing down? So, how did you end up fighting in the Blood Wars? Trust me, I'll tell you all about it after we take care of the goons on my tail. In your expert opinion, what is the best way to kill a devil? Depends on the type. Ice devils hate an inferno, but that's an easy one. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right back in their faces. Demons, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've got them typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> Anyway, what were we talking about? This isn't where I thought I'd end up. How about you? <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was just thinking about what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I mean, I know where I'd be. Trapped in Avernus still, with the Blade of Frontiers on my tail. But what about you? I'd be in the middle of another adventure. 
blissfully free of any tadpoles. I can picture you getting mixed up in some outrageous shit. Giants, beholders, <laughs> Thayans, the works. Maybe once we've wrapped up the current shenanigans, we'll rest a bit and find some new heap of troubles to throw ourselves at. Yeah? About those paladins you want us to confront. Yeah. Let's go straight there. Whatever those fucks are getting up to, it's nothing good. Just to say, by the way, they're not really paladins. Lackeys of the Archdevil playing dress-up as paladins of Tyr. No honor among devils. Come on, we're heading out. Fuck yes. What to do? Moving in. Ah, oh, curse to put my hands on everything. Just in time, you are transforming. Who the hells are you? Your salvation. And not for the first time. I saved you before. And I'm here to save you again. Don't worry. You will not become a mind flayer. Not while I'm around. I'll protect you. much time, so listen closely. There is great potential within you. It comes from that parasite. Your instinct is to resist the power it gives, but you must accept it. Nurture it. I will keep it from consuming you. But for the sake of both of us, you must learn to wield it. Fate of Faerun. A fight we are losing. For now. You can change that. But only if you embrace your potential. I have to go. The enemy is closing in. I will be back. Hello. 
quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Has your research turned up anything that might help with this parasite problem? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. How many times have you done this before? I saw you. I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. I'd rather a second opinion. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. I had a dream last night. A vivid one. And so did you, judging from the way my tadpole is tingling. Someone came to me and promised to protect me while claiming that the parasite could empower me. Tempting as these powers sound, we should recognize this dream for what it is, the tadpole's little trick. No good ever came from trusting honey-tongued strangers conjured up by illithid worms. We should have as little to do with these tadpoles as we can. Well said. This dream figure is no friend to us. My apologies. Huh. Not quite myself just yet. I had the strangest dream last night. A visitor came to me. A vision of unparalleled beauty and power. She told me she was watching over me protecting me, and that our tadpoles could prove beneficial if we embrace what powers they have to offer. An uncanny apparition. I'm not entirely sure what to make of it. I had the same dream, a similar visitor with a similar message. Very curious. In all my readings on the effects of illithid parasites, I've never come across any accounts of correlating dreams between infected parties. Another unique quality of our predicament, perhaps. Hmm. Are you inclined to take these visitors at their word? I'm not sure. Such an apparition has its own motives, whatever it told us. Nothing wrong with maintaining a healthy suspicion in such matters. Still, it might be wiser to keep an open mind on the matter. Our visitors' promises of aid might yet bear valuable fruit. I had the strangest dream last night. There was a visitor promising me protection and all sorts of delicious powers from the parasites in our heads. Given our shared affliction, I suppose you had a similar dream. I did. Excellent. Now we can see what these tadpoles can do for us. I don't trust it. We should avoid using these powers. Is there a reason you're such an utter drip? I mean, do you have some sort of condition? Honestly, it's like you hate good news. Did you actually want something? Or are you just here to spoil my fun? Did you have any strange dreams of late? Vivid ones. It happened to you as well? Damn. I was hoping my imagination had gotten the better of me. But this must be something more. This dream companion wanted me to use the tadpole. 
use its power. Whoever it was claimed to be an ally, but I don't know. It seems like we can't escape this mess, in the waking world or otherwise. I want to talk about all that happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? What do you think about what happened to the Druid's Grove? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. I had a wild dream last night. This beautiful entity came to me, promised to protect me, told me the parasite in our heads could give us power. I had a similar dream, a side effect of the tadpole. Sounds like it. What did you make of it? I think it's some kind of psychic trick. I don't believe a word it said. Damn right. Things like a splinter. We just need to find a way to squeeze it out. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? Not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. Are you going to explain further? No. What now? Another step forward. distance between Elturel and Baldur's Gate, I'd say a long oh. way away. That will make getting word to my mother rather tricky. No matter. What she doesn't know can't hurt her. Not at this distance anyway. Well, this is it. Thanks everybody for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. The next episode is under works. See you guys later.